Guess what I'm making tonight? I'm having Bernay sauce with my sirloin steak. So let's get started. To make the Bernay sauce, I add four tablespoons of white wine vinegar. I add one onion, tarragon, black pepper, sea salt, and then I let this simmer. And I would need to wait until the liquid is halved from the amount that I put in. I sieve the liquid and let it cool on the side. In a saucepan, I add 250 grams of butter. I keep mixing and turning until it has all melted in the saucepan. Once foamed, I will set aside and allow it to cool. Meanwhile, I crack four eggs only using the egg yolks. I add a teaspoon of water to the egg yolks and mix with a whisk. I transfer to a glass bowl. And then I add lemon juice to this mixture. Once cooled, I sieve the cooled down butter in the boiling saucepan. I place the glass bowl over it and pour the egg mixture into the big mixing bowl. I keep whisking constantly until the sauce has thickened enough to coat the back of a spoon and increased in volume. I remove from the heat and add the butter to the mixture while whisking. I season to taste with black pepper and tarragon. We're having sirloin steak to go with the Bernays sauce that we just made, which is cooling on the side. So I have the pan really hot, heating that up. The sirloin steak is boiled and there is salt and pepper as we speak. So let's get this pan really hot. So now I'm adding the oil to the pan. Let's put a good amount so that there's no stickage. It doesn't take too long to have it medium rare, which is like about two minutes each side or maybe even less. I don't really like it that cooked because once it gets too well done, then it gets kind of too chewy or too tough, too tough. So maybe I have this one, so it's we should do them one at a time. So now it is seared enough on one side, so let's flip it over. I'm just going to have it for like a minute because I don't really like it well done. It's 
ready. Finally. Uh, uh, <clears throat> so, I have sirloin steak, roasted potatoes, cabbage, fried onions, and the main ingredient that will go with it is the Bernese sauce. I've always ordered it and I've always wondered how the heck did they make it? The proof is in the pudding and it certainly is in the tasting. So let's pour it down and see how it goes down on the side. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Let's dip this bit in there. There's a nice creamy element to it. It tastes a bit like mayonnaise to some degree. I think I do taste the creaminess of the sauce. So that's definitely a good thing. Um, it is an interesting process to make. But yeah, I would definitely recommend anyone that wants to try something different to make this. So, mmm. Delicious. Thanks for watching our show today. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Yes, do. Please subscribe. I mean, really, please subscribe. Wow, I received a lot of nice things for my birthday. Doesn't my credit card just know it? <laughs> well, Paul does like to share, so what have we got on offer today? <laughs> okay, so we will start on this side at Harvey Nichols. I'm saying nothing. So Ooh. this is an Akintoshan. Look, that, that wasn't even meant to be a joke. I just said, I'm saying nothing, it's Akintoshan. <gasps> You're blocking out my little light. <laughs> okay, oh, Akintoshan, we've been to the, uh, the distillery in Glasgow, haven't we? We certainly have. Um, I don't think I've had this one before. This is a... 12 year old um, matured whiskey. It's single malt. It's made in Glasgow. It is 40% by volume. Um, so, yeah, I think it's time to break this bad boy out. And quite um, helpfully, on the, on the box, it actually gives a um, phonetic, um, phonetic instruction on how to say. Ochontoshan. So I got it right. Ochontoshan. We we went to the distillery, so we should know how to say it. Yes, and I can remember it was many years ago now. Um, but there was only one other person, I think, on the tour, and because there were so few, we of us, were the only ones there. Wasn't there was someone else? We were the only one. I thought there was somebody. Else. I don't remember there being anyone else. <laughs> no, well, that's because you were having so much Akintoshan while you were there. I'm sure there was someone else on it, but because anyway, there were so few of us that uh, they uh, they shared the drink around a little more. So it was really good. So it was so good. thumbs up to Akintoshan. It was so good. I I definitely want to go back again. Okay, so yep. pouring. Big one. Sure. Don't mind if I do. What? Mm. So what do you smell? Well, I, I didn't smell anything, first of all. I think that my nose went the whole way in. Um, it's quite... I would say... Are there any legs? I think I do see some legs. Oh, there are. It's, it's quite uh, medicinal. This one smells quite strong. It does. Bottoms oh, up. Cheers. It's not bad. It hasn't sent my eyes to the back of my head. This which one is always is, that's the litmus test. This one isn't really that PD because the ones from Arkansas are from Glasgow, so they're not from the Highlands. So it's not really that PD. It doesn't really taste PD. It so, does it does taste strong, which I do agree. So if it's PD it's from the Highlands then, is that 
Is that the real film? Or not necessarily? Highlands and Islands. Oh, the Highlands and Islands. The islands especially. So, what categorizes the Lowlands then? Um, I think that the, that the Lowlands are aren't as peaty and they're not as um, smoky. Okay. And it, it, it all depends on the type of barrel, of course, that is aged. Do we know what Ockentoshin uses? Um, not sure whether it's cherry casks. Uh, it says that it's... Ooh, it doesn't, uh, well, it's, it says that it's uh, a cereal... It tastes that it knows a cereal, almonds and lime. Oh, cherry, yeah, bourbon and cherry casks. I think that those are the most common ones that are holding whiskey barrels. And the taste is sweet caramelized toffee with hints of dried orange and grapefruit and a finished dry and long with ling lingering nuttiness. Oh, we all like a bit of lingering nuttiness, don't we? I don't really find it that strong or that overpowering the way that uh, either one's overpowered. No. Um, do you it, like it though? I do like it, yeah. And uh, you know, it says, "Ock and Tushin, let it roll off your tongue." I wouldn't let it roll off too much off the tongue, other otherwise you'll get a really burning feeling. But you should you'll be on the floor. <laughs> yeah, um, your tongue will be on the floor, but you should let um, it linger in the mouth on on the tongue. I, I like uh, or swirl it around like when you take that first taste. That's what we've we've learned on I the don't show before. I don't think I've ever had this particular one before. I don't think no. I've ever had the 12 year old um, I do like the packaging option. though. Uh, it's got it's quite look, nice. There's there's Wellington. I can see Wellington with this Oh, I didn't even notice with that. With this con head and all the buildings are around around Glasgow, the Docklands and the, the bridges over the the Clyde and uh, down by the uh, Pacific Key I think as well. So there's like all scenes of, of Glasgow in this lovely box. Do you think this is a good buy, though? I think it is. It's a winner, winner, chicken dinner, this one. Now, the thing is, if you're drinking more than one whiskey, which we have been known to do, in fact, in Glasgow, um, when we did our Burns Night special, if you watched, um, my voice was not in very good condition because I was full of an absolutely stinking super cold. Oh, dear. And as I said before, it wasn't COVID. No, it wasn't. It's just a, su a super cold, not a super, not a super cold, a super cold. And um, the only thing that helped was the whiskey in You the pub. certainly drank that stuff well, down. Well, we had about three of them. But the thing is... Did we? Yeah. Well, I think we did. The thing is, if you're choosing or if you're drinking more than one at a time or one after the other, mm -hmm. what do you do to clear the palate in between? Either water or beer. Beer? We don't yeah. have any right now. Well, there is one other thing, of course, if you're on the on the TV, through the magic of television, you clear the palate through one of these transitions coming up right now. Round two! Right, and we're on to the Selfridges bag now. Very <laughs> lovely it looks, too. Yes, this one was nice. Yes. This one was nice very and nice. It was very expensive. <laughs> okay, ease that up. Bag goes down. So we learned this trick on Ready Steady Cook. So this one is called the Cheetah. You're a cheetah? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> very quick off the mark. Oh, we're going to Japan now. So this is a single grain. Japanese whiskey. And what does single grain mean? Because it, it doesn't sound very appetizing. I think it means it's kind of like single malt. Ah, right. That's what they call so it. So they use one particular grain to make the whiskey. Right, I see. And this one is at 43%. Okay. So this is a bit higher than the one that we just had. Just now. Right. Okay. And uh, it's from the, uh, the Sun Suntory. So this is from Suntory. Uh, any other good things to read about? Well, why don't you open it? I'll read. It. <laughs> okay, I'll well, I'll open it. You can open the box. Look at that. Hold it close up. So people can get a good look. 
So Suntory Whiskey was founded in 1923. Okay, you can open the bottle now. By Shinjiri Tori. For over three generations, Suntory's master blenders have devoted themselves to pursuing the harmony of Japanese nature and craftsmanship. Shaped through masterful technique and served with a reverence for Japanese omut anashi. Suntory whiskies are among the most awarded and admired in the world. Cheetah is the serenity of Japanese whiskey from the inventive grain whiskey distillery in Cheetah Peninsula, dedicated to the pursuit of making diverse grain whiskies. I'll just keep reading while he keeps trying to open the bottle. Established in 1972, oh, same year that I was born. Good year. Yeah, by second master blender Kaizo Saji. Suntory's Cheetah Distillery is situated on the misty calm shores of the Cheetah Peninsula. Through a rare continuous distillation process using two, three or four columns, the Cheetah Distillery uses mainly corn to create three types of grain whiskey, clean, medium and heavy. Here, its artisans pursue their founder's legacy of Tsuk Uriah Oh, wow. Tsuk Uriah Wake. <laughs> I'm sorry for the pronunci pron oh my God. pronunciation, but it's quite interesting that word because it, it does whiskey does wake up my eyes, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, Ooh. what do you think? Well, just by the smell of it, I wouldn't know it's it was a bit different. Well, I was just say, just by the smell of it, I wouldn't know it was Japanese. I don't know if Japanese has a particular smell. Okay. Cherry Cheers. blossom? Cheers. Cheers. How come you've got like double? <laughs> Do it more. Oh gosh. No. This is this is not an, anything I've had before. I'm not sure I like this. I'm being honest. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna drink it though. It's quite... I can't put my finger on it. No. I think we need to go to the tasting notes because... It does taste strong. I do It says the nose is creme brulee, cardamom, acacia honey, and blossoming rose. I didn't get any of those. Let on me the, taste on the palate, mild and smooth, a hint of mint and deep honey. I think I do taste the mint. No, now that I've read it, yeah, I taste the mint as well. Hmm. <laughs> and a finish clean and clear, spiced oak with subtle bittersweet notes. I don't oh. not like it. Mm, I wouldn't choose this one, I have to say. This one was expensive. Mm, well, you are, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think you'll have to drink it all yourself. Then. I'm not going to say how much I spent, but it was expensive. Well, I think it might take us to the, uh, well, take me to the end of the show. To drink this. It is quite good, I think. So it's just as well that this is the end of the show. And is it? Yeah. And we've got about 20 seconds left. So cheers, everyone. Cheers. And we'll see you next time. Bottoms up. Let's see if I can dine this in one. See you. Bye. Bye. Day one. Oh, I'm not doing it. <laughs> no one told you to do that. Oh. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.